Go ahead and start uh, bringing people in. All right. We waited on you, my queen. <laughs> Our kings and queens. She's Weez be waiting. We be waiting. We Weez be waiting. <laughs> hey, y'all, let's go. Let's get on in here. Oh, man, I'm looking at me on YouTube. I'm, I'm looking good today, I guess. It's a more light. I guess I'm, I'm in the right spot. I'm good. <laughs> So we don't start freezing or nothing. Um, say what? I said, I don't know what happened last time. I think I, it was like, I think it was where I was at or something. Hey, man, tell me, dude, how, how, how did when you be telling your, your, your past stories or whatever? Because you was talking, you be talking loud live on your, uh, on your, uh, Instagram, on your IG. And you know you you talk about your past and stuff, whatever. Did you and did you you and Jen kind of like talk about that first before you get on? <laughs> no. So did she hear something and shit? She'd be like, "What you did? What or the stuff that you already told her?" Um, some she probably know a lot of it. She just hearing for the first time. Everybody just hearing for the first time. No stuff. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, well, 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 I'm just, I'm praying for you, brother. Just hope you don't get controversial. You know what I'm saying with the relationship. <laughs> she starts seeing something and bring it back up to you. We got two people in the house. That's all. What? Come on, baby, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we yeah, wait on y'all. Last week's story, week story was uh, that shit was like ten years old. Uh huh. That story was old as shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, that story. See, that's what I said. You, because you came oh, yeah, in a little late. I know, I know they. No, I know they were older stories. But mm -hmm. I'm saying, like, you know, even with older stories, you know, what I'm saying, if you don't mention something or whatever, I mean, you mention something, you know, because women listen. They, they, oh, they yeah, listen. They to listen. You. Oh yeah. So, so they going to have something. They, they're looking for uh, familiar traits or reactions or that you are things that you basically have done mm -hmm. or whatever in order. You know what I'm saying? And that would that will come up in a conversation later. I bet you it will. I bet you it will. When something happened, oh, so it's like when you talked about they remember that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm just you telling you, huh? I might gotta shoot somewhere else. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, but you're doing right. I mean, you're keeping it open, you keep it real, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it's the, and it's the past, you know what I mean? So who we got, who we got? Come on in, come who on we in. Got, come on now. Uh, we waiting on you guys come in and get the show started. We're gonna give you about three more minutes. Um, uh, let me see. I don't even know what to post on here. Let's. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. Is even posting too. But give us a shout out, you guys, if you guys are in the house yet. Give us a shout out. Let me go to my page because you know that's when I give that's what my people's is. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. Oh shit. I found an easy way to, to uh go into the group thing. Who we got? We got to say hey to us. What's up? Who we got in the house right now? So we know, we know, we want to know, make sure everything is good. Everything is good. Let me do this too while I'm, while I'm here. Come on in here, over here. What's up, Marlon? I see you, boy. I see you, boy. Let's 
it's coming across your airways, your computers. You Did I do that? Me? You switched like you that. that like, yeah. Huh? What happened? A little glitch? I don't know. No, I went. I went to go add some stuff in the chat or whatever, but I don't know. I might have done something. You gotta stop touching shit, man. I know, right? Especially doing this shit. Oh well. What's up, DJ? Who's that? We got Twitch in the building. That's what's up. That's what's up. Let's go. Let's go. We're about to get it started in a minute, you guys. We appreciate you guys tapping in with us. Because mm-hmm. we loves y'all. We loves y'all. Really mm-hmm. For reals, for reals. I think I think there's one thing only let me do it like three at a time. I've been waiting all week for this one, y'all. I got a killer for you today. Another another crazy um somebody that they don't talk about, and I'm gonna tell you why. So stay tuned. Let me cover this up because I ain't playing Kirkland at all. You said the who don't talk about our uh our highlight of the day. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't even yeah. know about them. I'm, I'm always I'm gonna hit y'all over the head every time with somebody I know y'all ain't you ain't you didn't read this in your they didn't teach you about this in your in your school right. unless you know you are African American studies major you know something like that I got a heat for you you know we got to get a little controversial it, it, it's crazy so get in a little bit get a little bit uh, we you ready man Snoop, but why don't you go ahead and share us on Twitch I need that um Marlon share. I see you locked in, but, but uh, tell a friend to tell a friend and tell them to share, share, and share a like. That's right, you baby. You know? Uh, we once, again, this, once again, this is fired up from the car. <laughs> yeah, he fired up from the car. <laughs> we're going to get him hey. station one day. One day we're going to get him in a little uh, I'll, be, I'll be back in the office next week, but I'm going to try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to work uh, – um, a little bit more before the day of the show. I just been working my butt off, you know what I'm saying? So I have to stop and do the show and I'm gonna stop where am I at, you know, wherever I'm at, you know, so I can come and talk to my peeps, you know what I'm saying? Come on, so, man. We need it. It's it <clears throat> like you on a go right now, man. Oh, uh, Marlon says he's on it right now, sending it to everyone. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Marlon, let's go. Let's get them out, man. Let's get them in here. I, mean, I, I got think something for you. Between I the two, it should be enough, right? I got heat. It is fired up, ain't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got heat for you today. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. It's great topics. Mm-hmm. Share. Tell a friend to tell a friend. For real, for real. And if you're on Facebook, share it on Facebook. We don't care. We can get your comments on here as oh, well. Yeah, so share it on we Facebook. And not only, not only sharing it on Facebook, I mean, if you're on Twitch or whatever that you're on, we pretty much can get it. We can get it. We can get it. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. We can get it, can get it to you. Yeah, Excuse me while I clear my throat. <laughs> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm going to give y'all, what time is it? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start even. I'm going to give two more minutes, man, and we're going to get it started. Anybody that's tapping in, this is Fired Up Thursday. Reasons on Fired Up Thursdays, y'all, and mm-hmm. we got a show for you. We got we 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 got so we much got something up for you, out. man. We got something for you, man. What the old player will tell you, man. And the child, I got something for you, baby girl. I got something for you. Hold on, something. hold up. I got something for you. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. I got something for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Who we got? Let's go. All right, man. Let's get this started. Let's get that thing, man. Play that, play that intro, go. man. All right, y'all. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Thank you. 
them on the beat. Yeah. I, seen, <laughs> I, seen, I, seen, I said, this man is played wrong. All our illusions were just a parade. And all the reasons start to fade. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Reasons, the show where you can give your reasons why you think what you feel about what we're talking about today. We should know this, man. We say no. Dear brother, how do y'all deal with? erectile dysfunction when you're in a relationship. I wouldn't know how to do it unless I had it. I had it. <laughs> and, and remember, and remember, if they're talking about, about you behind your back, back they're behind you for a reason. Peace. I love y'all. The reasons that we feel I feel is The reasons disappear oh, oh. <laughs> what's up what's up y'all welcome to breezes on fired up thursdays man i see you i see my son rail rail i see you son i see you uh nick nick's in the house and we got marley in the house we want us to shout you out you know what i'm saying put your name out there let us know that you're in the house you know what i mean what's uh, up what's up young fuel in this thing we got a young fuel. It it's your boy fuel we got my man right here who you who that be Fat boy in the building. You already know what type of time we're here. Hey, so we got a lot to talk about today, man. Uh, Trump indictment, LSU, of course, uh, our history and blackness. Are you protecting your finances and the important finance transparency? How important the importance of financial transparency in a relationship? That's right. That's how I get it right. Had to get it right. You know what I'm saying? So we got a lot to talk about, and we want you guys to uh tap in and, and give us your opinions or whatever. You know what I mean? We're a little open. We don't we don't we are a little biased. We don't I'm not I wouldn't say biased, but you know, yeah, I, I've been called biased. Bias is that what we call biased. <laughs> uh but we definitely, you know what I'm saying, like to hear other people's side and perspective or whatever on this show. So and there's, there's no there's no wrong answers, no uh 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 negativity as when it comes to what you feel and what you think and what you believe, but we, mm -hmm. we speak speak our minds as what we feel is going on or whatever. And sometimes some of the things that we uh, learn can help others. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, you can say something in a certain way that might change my whole perspective on something at times. So that's what it is. That's what the show's about, baby. So let's get it, man. Let's get into it. Let's see. I, I, somebody yeah. just came in. Who's that? Oh, those rails, those rails. Oh, well, that's what's up. You said the better looking, better field. looking few. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> smoking like a true fuel. Whatever, man. <laughs> they said a better looking fuel. What? Come on, boy. Spoken like a true hey, fuel. You get you, when you when when you, you when you get it from the OG. You ain't you ain't the better one. That's all it is to it. You got, That's all get it, it is. from the OG, <laughs> baby. You get it from the OG. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, that's oh, what's man, up, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, cool, dog. I've been I've been hustling, dog. We got we got plans coming up, so you know that's why you see me still in the car. You know what I mean? I'm up here, you know, hustling or whatever. But then I gotta drop everything and come to you know do the show, man. I don't care where it is. I'm gonna do it from the car, from the roof, from from you know anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hell. If they give me a computer in jail. I'll be in there. <laughs> be in there going crazy, you no know, for real. <laughs> Straight you know, up, real. right? So. You know, man, that's what's up, man. Um, so let's let's get into this first one, man, because I want to yeah. talk about. Well, I don't, I don't want to talk too much about them or whatever, because it's just it's ridiculous. I don't understand how is even. Um, anyway, we're getting Trump. We're gonna talk about Trump. I don't even know why you. Uh, I don't even know why y'all so on All this. Right. What they indicting him for this time? So for what for for those that you don't know, Trump has been indicted. I think if I'm not, let me let me see how many counts it is. Um, it's almost I think thirty something counts. Um, of what? But mainly it's because of him. Um, hold on. 
it was because he was hiding the fact that you know the 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 what's the model the 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 Stormy Daniels no 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 a girl that he he paid money to and then made it you know and then uh try to make her hush about it and she told what's her uh name? uh what's the model's name um hold on i gotta look it up again if y'all if y'all there listening y'all i thought it was i thought it was stormy daniels yeah 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 stormy okay i didn't hear you say that yeah stormy daniels yeah yeah Storm, stormy daniels. Yeah, i didn't hear you i didn't hear you uh he need to be under jail period yeah that's what nick nick said uh listen <laughs> i feel like 30 plus counts okay nick if for hush money exactly listen well, not only hush money, before you get into it, not only it was it hush money, it was also he was hiding money and uh, 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 I don't want to say embe embezzling, but he was hiding money and lying about it, basically. And they found out whatever what he was using it for. You know what I mean? That type of thing. Um, but anyway, yeah. What do you guys think? I mean. This is, of course, they, this is something that's been going on. They've been knowing for a while. Um, do we? Do you feel like that we're actually, are they actually really going to punish him? He's not going to jail. You don't think he's going to jail? Why? They all do hush money. They First of all, I don't even think what he did is a true crime. I just think it's the Democrat witch hunting. Really? Not saying uh -oh. that. I really do. They do it all the time, bro. He's not going to jail. <clears throat> he did way worse shit with the inclusion stuff. Okay. They just keep trying to, they keep trying to get him in, instead of because they're trying to make it seem like they don't agree with the things he's doing and the things that he's saying. But that's how that's how America was built. But I mean, America created a Donald Trump. And so I want people to understand this. If they convict this man, they could they it's so many other people that are going to be attacked. If they wanted him, they would have been had him. The feds got young thug in jail for some shit he said on a song. Right. They got proof he, he hooked up with her. He should be in jail. Right. If he was going to jail, he'll he should be in jail. The fact that they carrying out these indictments and he's not going nowhere, bro. But so you it's think really you think you money. think it's just you think it's just just continues to kind of taunt, trying to, to tarnish his name for the next election, yeah. that type of thing or yeah. whatever, and be done. Yeah. But my whole thing is this though: there, even though even though it's stuff that's coming up or whatever that they can, uh, you know, it's not it's not like made up shit. It is stuff that happened. Stuff that maybe normally other people get away with, you know what I'm saying? In that stature, in that you know high class or whatever, but it's really actually shit that he's done and that's and, and that has happened. So it's not like you know, oh, we're 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 gonna we're gonna see we're gonna get with uh 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 uh, uh Stormy and see if you know if this was a hush money thing, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna go indict me, you know what I'm saying? Over hush money, you know what I mean? So. Basically, he's done illegal shit most of the fucking life. He's done. That's what they do, though. He, yeah, but that's, that's what, what they do. That's what I'm saying. So basically, when you and then you have putting threats on on people's lives that's in the capital and all this other other stuff, it's kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna find every motherfucking thing that I can to get his ass or whatever, at least to tarnish his name in a in a point where he's not president again. But how could this is the thing? This is why I say that it's a waste of time. Like Martin said, you can't the crime, exactly. You cannot tarnish a man's name who name was already tarnished. His name ain't not 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 his name is first of all, if you know his name was tarnished, wrong, tarnished to, us. to us. No, no, but not to his people. Listen, what I'm saying in general, to the people who matter, his name is being tarnished. We don't care about Donald Trump. Nobody does. I care to the point where I wouldn't want him in the fucking office and doing the crazy that's shit. That's the only that's the only reason why we even talking right. about him. That's the point I'm trying to make. We know him as the business guy, the entrepreneur, but in his circle, he was always been a guy who fucked off the money, who took, he did good deals and he's done bad deals. And he's still Donald Trump. So no matter what they do, that so that and they know that. So I think that they're not 
They're not trying to tarnish his name. They just trying to mix him and keep spinning him up. So, so like you said, to the American people to make us have an emotion about it, but they're not going to do anything to him. I, I He's not going to jail. They really just. I think, I think it really, if, if they don't do anything, I think it really sucks. Well, I think it, it really sucks because, you know, it's kind of like, like being above the law, you know? And, and, and so the whole point of this is to make an example to let him know that he's not above the law, you know, and he done went he done went back and threatened the, you know, uh, not threatened, but, you know, talked about the judge, talked about the judge wife, talked about the judge kids, talked about the uh, the uh, 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 prosecuting attorney, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he has he has no filter, of course, but he really but something's going to have to be done to at least shut his ass up. And not be so disrespectful. Wow. That's the thing. They created him. <laughs> he been that way. They continue to now, Donald Trump been this guy before the apprentice. Yeah. He been a jerk. Like he been cocky and you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I don't, I don't know. He been buying hookers. They all buy hookers. Nick 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 said the so, same thing. He's he he's the first to be indicted, but uh it feels like it's all a political hoax. Of BS. Absolutely. Yeah. I told my daddy six months ago. Mm -hmm. He's not going to jail for nothing. Yeah. If they convict him, I'll be shocked. Well, that that's that and that's what has to happen. They they need to shock the world. If you're gonna if you're gonna how go through you, how long are you gonna give to them 30 if you go through, looking at? Huh? Well, how much time are you looking at? He probably don't get no real time. So what's the point? Just if, that's what I'm hey, saying. Just if, if, that's what I'm well, saying. Everybody trying to lock this man up. Look, he only gonna he might do get, 20 days. He might, of he might get probation. Service. He's gonna get his <laughs> yes. You know, yo, you go, y'all gonna be listening. Hey, this is what's gonna happen. I, 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 if he get probation and a fucking uh 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 ankle bracelet on his own, I, I'll be even happy with that. <laughs> you think they're gonna put an ankle monitor on hell yeah on, on Donald Trump hell yeah. for just for the embarrassment? Hooker? Hell yeah. For buying a call girl, trust me, bro. It, but no, it's more, not. it's more than just the call girls, it's business deals too. You know what I'm saying? Stop it. It's business stuff that, that's going on too. Uh Marla said is is uh if it's what? If it's forgot, if it's if forget, it forget you, it's forget you to the grave. forget you to the grave. <laughs> Let me no, stop. No, for real though. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. But um I mean I, I really think that 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 something has to be done. I think I think where they going to where there where it is going to be some sort of embarrassment. I mean, I think this embarrassing enough to be the first president and be indicted. That's enough embarrassing right there. Embarrassment right there. But but his fans, his this is what I'm saying, his constituent base, mm -hmm. the people who are voting for him are stone they're stone they're stone stone uh trump supporters mm -hmm. so nothing that the Demo nothing that the media does is going to change and sway their vote all it's continuing to do is stir the emotions of the people who really don't like trump anyway do you get what i'm saying yeah. it's not really it's not doing nothing but making people upset i think it's more because in the real reality you will i know that you want it to be more but in the real reality, if the man don't go to jail, it wasn't more. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's really a waste of the time of the American people. Yeah, that, that, now that part is true. It is a waste of the time of the people if this man is not felt uh, 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 guilty. If he's not guilty and, and everything, and this is just kind of like goes away or whatever the case may be, then, yeah, it's a waste of time. You know, it's a waste of time. Because I mean, to me, there's worse charges that i think he probably could have they could have brought on him then down hush money and bribery yeah you know what I'm saying? real stuff yeah real shit you know what i'm saying they bringing up shit i never even but, heard of like what is inclusion even the, even the whole like, thing of, of 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 uh uh influencing you know the people to go into the white house or whatever that's 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 a, what is it called uh uh, uh uh accessory to ain't that right some sort of what is what is it called yeah that's accessory to a crime right uh trespassing i guess that's all they really do well he's well i mean i'm just saying but he the one or vandalism he was the rule but he was the ringleader of that shit conspiracy conspiracy to commit vandalism there you are, something like that exactly like get, <laughs> get him on some shit get him on some shit that the world have already seen and done or whatever where you can't deny 
and not be and, 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 and say you're not guilty. Hey, look, he's such a small listen to this though. Then you gotta it's it's funny, right? But you gotta admire it. He's such a good, he's such a good criminal that he doing crimes in front of you, and you still <laughs> like you gotta figure out a word for his crime. You don't even know he's so rich, you gotta figure out like what. Is it a contempt? Is it attempt to hold on? Is it assist conspiracy? To, right. Because it was commit. Is it vandalism? Right. Or what is, is it? it? Right. You don't know. <laughs> you don't even know. He's he been committing. He been committing crimes for so long. They, they shit just it's all regular. Bro. Right. I, I, I think it's just a wish hunt, man. Marlon said that they better be glad that I'm not in the prosecutor or the or the judge. You remember the story of my bike? I guess he's talking he's, to you. <laughs> he said he convicted it. He convicted. Yeah. Hey. But now that he basically, you know, talks shit on the judge and the and the uh, something got to happen. I think the judge, what they gonna I get? The, That's what I'm saying. I think this the judge is saying. black too. This is what I'm saying, y'all. I think. I'm and this mistaken. is why I love, I love the, I love the way this is play out because we really have to start to in, uh, develop more of an emotional intelligence when it comes to politics. Mm -hmm. They're all trying to stir your emotions. What even with that? How? Can, what is it? Defamation of character? That, that's a civil suit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. What crime has he committed besides paying the hooker? And cheating on business deal that they all do. That's a crime. You get what I'm saying? It's still a crime. It is a crime. It is a crime. It's, a it's, crime just, it's just on how how what the punishment is going to be for that crime. The punishment uh, uh, for for people that are rich or whatever is a hundred percent different from us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's a whole. To, be, to be honest with you, it's almost damn near a whole fucking different law for those that are are the one percenters. A whole yeah. different, yeah. you know. So my my point again: what is really going to happen to the man, and why this is a waste of time? And, and, because he's in that he's in that he's in that he's in, unless it's this is the thing, unless they get him on tax evasion, accessory to commit murder, something like that. Yeah. He they got to get a real crime on yeah. him. It's not that little inclusion. Tampering, none of that shit gonna stick. No, that, He's paying five. They, his the lawyers five thousand, ten thousand dollars an hour. That shit is like, ugh, yeah, ugh. that shit ain't nothing. Right? They get paid to do that. You know he got real lawyers, right? Oh, yeah. Like he got real money. Oh yeah. That little bullshit. He, you gotta get him on a drug bus yeah. or something. Like you gotta, <laughs> you gotta get him with a ton of cocaine or something before he go to jail. Yeah. Because he is, is he? he Anything else, you anything, any of these crimes, a lot of these crimes, what they're not telling you, and Marlon will tell you, a lot of that shit is circumstantial. Yeah. And in court, it's not gonna hold up. I don't know. I I, I think I think they have to have something deep. Seriously. In order to even go to the to this extent, not only just the embarrassing or 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 uh, I know it's a political fight too between the you know be, between the two parties or whatever. But I think something has to come up deep. Praying for conviction so he can't run ever again. Yeah. We just never if we, we just get, never gonna vote. But if they and I, I think I think too, like Nick Nick said, if he get any kind of conviction, he, he's not supposed to be able to run. Yeah, but that don't listen. That's not that's what I mean. He's just doing that to incite the riot and do shit other people don't do. He over here just playing Monopoly at this point. Yeah. But that's if we trying to really teach him a lesson. We need to hit him where it hurts. Mm -hmm. um, Read that what, what Marlon just said. Uh, Marlon says, in all seriousness, though, get on, get on, get Trump how they got Al Capone. You may not get him on the big stuff, but the small stuff add up. Yeah. But they got they got Al Capone for tax evasion. Yeah. That's why I said that. Yeah. That's how they got Al Capone. But that, but but, but, murder, but I, I get I get I get what Marlon's saying though. You know what I'm saying? I understand what he's saying as far as like not being able to, you know, uh uh especially when it came to his taxes and shit like that. That that's not even in play here. That that was a big uh ordeal at, at first, you know what I'm saying? That's not even in play here. The uh the whole thing with the uh uh uh, uh January 6th, that's not here in, in play here, you know what I'm saying? So so something that they really know. 
that they can try to get a, a conviction from is why they doing this or whatever, right? Even though if it do seem small or whatever the case may be, if they can get a conviction of it, then that basically would do it for him to do, uh, run for president. President. I think it's I th absolutely. I, I think it could work. I just don't think a conviction is coming. Well, yeah, really. Um, it's just not and I think um, the other big thing, the other bad thing is this, dude, we don't even know shit until December. Because see, it, it takes it, it takes you trying to tell me it takes what this is what February I mean uh, March I mean April, we're April. so we're in the fourth we're in the fourth month mm -hmm. so you trying to tell me it takes eight months yeah when you got lawyers for bullshit for continuance oh, yeah. man Marla you in school for law continuance I, I want to have another continuance I, my my client needs to. Uh, we need to build a better case. And then when they really stretch it out, the district attorney probably don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. That's to let you know even more so he ain't going to jail. I think they got something. They That's what y'all said about the inclusion. That's what I hope he got. I hope they got that's something. That's what everybody hopes. That's what I'm saying. It's all just to, it's all just to stir the, the, stir the, the emotions of the American American people, bro. The man ain't going to jail. They wanted him in jail. Listen, Marlon put a comment. Go to the, the but it's okay. It's up here. Like Marlon said, but it's funny how they gotta get him, get him on a real crime. But we regular folks get indicted on conspiracy or assessment. Yeah, Absolutely. Exactly. Well, he in that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying, Marlon. Exactly. He in a different. He in a different. He in a different space. They all, yeah, they all are. If they was percentage. gonna get him. They would have got him a long time ago. Yeah. But it's a. This is why I tell people. Well, there there are certain there are about, there are certain laws, especially if you was a, a president. There are certain laws that that protects you, you know, for certain things that you cannot convict for or you cannot bring to, you know, to the table, whatever. And I think this is the only thing, probably, uh, that they could actually like. It, it could have been a uh, 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 a certain amount of time, you know, what I'm saying before they can say anything or do anything about it, especially since him being president or whatever, like after a year go by or however long, you know, then they can convict for something else for, for this and that. I think that's some, some have to have some part of it as well. Um, uh, mom's mom's on here, 34 counts, hoping that one of them stick. Right. Me too. I'm with you moms. So I'm, I'm hoping one of them stick. Something sticks. Something sticks. Just, get a, just get an ankle. Just get one of those ankle bracelets. That's all. <laughs> he ain't getting one of them, Just man. get one of the ankle bracelets. Listen, just to, he got hey, high power lawyers. If I was the judge, the judge that's basically he's talking shit about and talking shit on and especially says something about his wife and the family, oh, hell yeah. He's going to get embarrassed with, with an ankle bracelet something. He's going to get something. It's possible, but then, then, he gonna get then something. my lawyer... Then my lawyer that I pay five thousand dollars an hour, I'm gonna pray to get you. I'm gonna pay to get you removed off the Man, case because get, you react If the nigga get two weeks in jail, I don't care. You get hold on, hold on. Did you hear what I just what? said? I said, well, my five thousand dollar an hour lawyer. After you do that in the first day of court, I'm gonna pay him, and he's gonna and he's gonna get you removed from the case due to emotion. <laughs> And guess what's gonna happen? That could be. They're still not gonna convict. That could. That, that, hey, that, that is a good way. Yep, that's a good. Uh, Listen. Listen, when you've been playing, listen, he Marla said I'm different. down grade school, really not law school. On some real crime. Say what? It's, it's, it, they gotta get him on a real crime, bro. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Well, we hope. We're just hoping. All right. La I know y'all. Last one. We're gonna go to the next one. We're gonna go to the next right. one. Marlon said, "Uh, let's keep let's keep it a buck, and I'll never be able to run for office now after this. But think about it. If they convict Trump, America can't stand before the world as the bacon of us." That's the bacon of hope. The beacon, <laughs> the beacon of hope. Beacon of hope. <laughs> I said bacon. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a whole nother thing, too, Marlon. His conviction, his conviction bacon of hope, threatens <laughs> his, his listen, his conviction, and this is real talk. His conviction threatens the illusion of white supremacy, brother. Mm. His conviction, I'm gonna say that again. His conviction threatens the illusion of white supremacy. And I'm going to elaborate. If they convict him, the illusion that white men are superior over everyone, that the taxes and that shit is, they're going to ruin the whole ideology of what America stands That's for. That's what they need to because do. Everything he's doing, 
every believe it or not, even though emotionally we're connected to it, mm -hmm. everything he's doing is the American way. Okay. <clears throat> Speaking of American way, all right. Since we said, uh, and uh, real quick before uh, she said that, no, the DA is hoping uh, that the charges sticks. Yes, I, yeah, I know they are, and I hope they are too. Um, <clears throat> let's get into this next one though. Because speaking of you know what you just basically said, let's get into LSU versus Iowa, the girls championship game. Yeah. Uh, everybody's been talking about it. Everybody, you know, I sometimes I hate that our shows on Thursday because I be wanting to just go right in, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, but then and then also I like to hear everyone's opinions. Everybody's, you know, uh, and and most everybody end up saying some of the same thing, you know, which is fine, but. You know, we got to give our give our input on it as well. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. If reasons are fired up. So um, I'm going to let you go first on that. What do you think? <clears throat> uh, well, let, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Way. Not let, Real quick, just kind of set it up. Let everybody know the controversy, what the controversy was. Okay, so the controversy, uh, the controversy stems from LSU beating Iowa um in the ncaa women's championship division mm -hmm. of basketball mm -hmm. um the player her name is angie reese or something like that i got angel go angel my angel reese angel reese um angel reese um did the you can't see me to the player uh caitlin clark from the other team in they started was saying that miss reese was unprofessional and unsportsmanlike and and just basically gave the game a black eye. Well, what happened was prior to that, maybe two games to that prior, Caitlin Clark did the same exact thing, which is a white player. I'm sorry, I, I forgot to do this. Caitlin Clark is white. Angie Reese is uh, is, uh, is 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 black. So when a black girl did it, it was a crime, of course. What we were just talking about, and then when Caitlin did it. It was just her in a moment, fire and ice. So the controversy breaks out. The media goes crazy. They're calling this young lady, you know, of course, ghetto. And of course, she's unsportsmanlike and all of those things. And it really went to the it went to the move since then. Yeah. And so <clears throat> this is the this is the this is this is actually a pure example of of what you're saying, what the Americans, you know, dream is or the American, the American way, the American, the American way Absolutely. where, where right in our face, we see the double standards going. Absolutely. And, and in the history of any championship game has the loser been invited to the white house? No, any, no, I was gonna people get. Are I, wait, was people, people, people are waiting. People were waiting so. so early. I was waiting. Yeah, because people were waiting so okay. much for Iowa. Wanted Iowa to Iowa to win, and if you really look at it, you look at the uh, 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 LSU bench. You look at Iowa's bench. What do you the see? Demographic. Mm -hmm. You see white for mm -hmm. Iowa, blacks for LSU. Mm -hmm. Majority. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. think it was one black person on uh, on uh, Iowa's team. It might have been one or two. I don't think I've seen. If they were, they was they were like they were like behind the water boy or somewhere. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't play in the game. I don't think they played in the game. But my point is this: being that the standards were so high for them to win, you know, instead of just being just taking a loss, now you're hurt, you're butt hurt, because this 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 young white chick that can play her ass off, you know, lost the game. And understanding, she didn't lose it by herself. The team lost. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She can't play the whole. She can do the whole thing by herself. The team lost. So, so if you're going to sit here and feel bad about her because she played so well or whatever, and feel like oh, the whole team should be coming to the White House when it's a winners when it's supposed to be a, a, a privilege for those who's winning and champions or whatever the case may be, and recognizing them. That's bullshit. That's total bullshit, right? And so if, if anything, if you want to go call, talk to her later or whatever and be like, hey, 
I would like to have dinner with you or whatever. You know, let's meet up and talk or whatever and blah, blah, blah. Just like she went to uh, 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 Biden. And I'm talking about she when I say she, I'm talking about Biden's wife. Uh, she went to the locker rooms to to, uh, I guess, either talk to the teams. Right. Well, LSU wouldn't let them let her in there because Biden was all hopeful and didn't have them on, on his bracket at all to even get that far. So they had the whole attitude, like, what we need to talk to him for? You know what I'm saying? Now, she doesn't, but they weren't sure if she went and talked to uh, uh, the Iowa team, which she probably did, and probably was in there. We're like, you know what? Win or lose, y'all coming to the White House. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's that white yeah. shit, <laughs> which is bullshit, uh, which is bullshit. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And then I think she tried to apologize about it and all that type of stuff or whatever. But just like uh, Angel Reese in her interview was saying that no, that that is not acceptable, and I don't accept the apology because you are you know that's the that's the most wrongest shit that you've ever seen anybody do in public. Now sometimes you know they do it, them, but everybody just getting cold, cold and, and cocky. And this is the thing, and this is what my mind is. See, even though you got Biden, you know we think Biden, we the ones voted his ass in and everything, right? You thinking that he's for you? He not. No, I mean they're they're for you to an extent. It's like they're not going to give. And she made the same example. We're not going to give you this if our people can't have this. In order for you to have it, my people got to have it too. They show. Listen, to you this, feel me? Man. You 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 feel where I'm coming from? Though. I do. Absolutely, I do. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, yeah, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help the black. I'm gonna help the the uh, 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 poor or the or the medium class or whatever. But then I'm actually going to have to help our white folks, the bigger, higher class, to get to higher. Yeah. yeah. So you can't get to that. So level. you can't get to that level. But I want to be on their side to show that I want to be on the black side so I, and, and color side so I can show that, you know what I'm saying, we're for you too or whatever. All we got to do is give them a little. They'll shut up. They'll, that's good. You know? But once again, once again, we had a whole segment where everybody was just so stumped on Trump not being in office, but we elected a bigot in office as well. Mm -hmm. And so once again, <laughs> We have to start to check ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. She, they being who they were. Um, I think that I've never seen a first lady so blatantly racist or prejudiced and try to do it in a nice way. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was, a, it was a nice professional way, but it was blatantly yeah. racial, yeah. right? And very prejudiced <laughs> um, to the point where as she wanted to invite them because because she even went on to say that she felt that it was unsportsmanlike and all of that. And this is our president's wife. Yeah. This is the president that a lot of us voted for. How can, it, how, how can that come out of your so, mouth? How can, how can an unsportsmanlike come out of your mouth when you actually seen the person be, that, that started the bullshit? Right? And then you, and it's because the other person does it back. I'm unsportsmanlike. You yeah. know, and it's and it's and, and and like they say, it's trash talking in the in the game. It's got it's, it's always been that. It was it was the it was the heat of the moment. It was the hurt. It was yeah. it was the hurt. It was the hurt. Yeah. It was the hurt, the embarrassment, the hurt that because of the fact that she lost or she was losing or they was whooping her ass. They didn't they didn't just be went, lose by uh five points or something, two or three points a a, a, a game buzzer. Nigga, they lost they by they what? 13 points, 14, 15 points? Yeah, they got they got that they ass whooped. They got that ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't have no chance. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have no chance anyway. So, you know, so I I, I just and I, I just want to give shout out to uh uh the team at uh, LSU, Angel Reese and uh uh Flo uh, I remember to tell you about uh uh Flage Johnson. Oh the yeah. rapper. Yeah, that she was a rapper and then she gets there in uh, her freshman year and get a ring. National championship, that's dope. So you know, and she's probably like the first uh known rapper to actually do that. Yeah, that's people dope. people kind of sleeping on that right now because because of the controversy, yeah, the, uh, of the, the controversy of the whole you know uh can't see me thing or whatever, you know, is taking over uh, uh, uh presidents over that. But 
I want to give shout outs to her too as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and, and the whole her. team. Um, shout out to um Caitlin Clark, the the other player from Iowa, because she went out and she came and did a um yeah. made a statement saying that she she doesn't want to go to the White House. That LSU deserves they won fair and square basically, and that they deserve that moment to themselves. So shout out to her for just being a, 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 a sportsman like on her side and being professional and just uh, also standing by a fellow hooper and athlete. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I thought that was dope. Well, well, the other thing too that that she also had 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 uh, said was that the the shit talking that's what they do. She yeah. wasn't she wasn't really like fucked up behind it like everybody else were you know what i'm yeah. saying she wasn't tripping up she wasn't she went wasn't being controversial about it like everyone else or whatever she know that this is a game this is a shit that that just happens you yeah. know yeah. so so yeah you know i definitely def commend that but also you never know though too the whole thing about the white house that they had come and said hey you need to say something <laughs> because now we oh yeah that could be because now we get because now we get in the heat you know what I'm saying? I don't, yeah, I mean, I don't I put it past him. I, I just said, uh, I'm just saying, I don't put it past him. I think it was competitive nature. You throw wool over my eyes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think no, I think it was competitive nature. I think it was genuine <laughs> because also after the game in the press conference, <clears throat> uh, Angel Reese did the same thing. She said she's a hell of a player, and so it it really wasn't the athletes right. who took this thing yeah, and blew it up. Yeah, exactly. It was really more of the media and, and, and the perpetuation of white supremacy. True. That's really all it was. <laughs> That's true. Let's get what Marla said. Let's get to you. Marla said, these are the same folks that cry about not wanting to give our participation trophies. They say you got to earn it. No freebies, right? So the so let the Black Queen and her team enjoy the championship. Absolutely. Exactly. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Where I miss? Oh, here we go. Oh shit, no, we got a lot. I didn't see all those. Uh she said no, there was not one period. What do you mean? What do you mean? Not one period. Moms, what do you mean by not one period? I might have to find it. Oh. Uh this she said, uh, first of all, this shows how he feels about us from the gate. He does not like us chocolate, period, people uh, people, period. Hey, shout out to moms, it's her birthday. What? Aries, no wonder you so cool. She's an Aries. When's her birthday? Mm -hmm. Uh, today. The today? Oh, okay. My, my uh, my niece's birthday. Oh, I better shout out them too. I guess my niece's birthday was uh day before yesterday, and my aunt's birthday was the day before that. So to the Aries babies, to the Aries, happy birthday, I mom. <laughs> Happy birthday, mom! All right, let's see. We got, we got, we got, we got. Oh, that was, was that the last one? Uh, she said he has been smashing our people since before he was in office. Same behavior, yet they embarrassed LSU, smashed them as they should have. Exactly. Absolutely. <clears throat> so yeah, man. So I, I, I just, I'm, um, I feel like the last group of people that actually got to weigh in on this, man. <laughs> but. I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did. Yeah, I'm glad we talked to tapped in on it for sure. Exactly. All right, man. So the, here come. Let's go in. Let's go into your your section here. We talking about your man. Ah, uh, man. I got some. I got some. I got some. I got some body for y'all today. Go ahead, dog. That's on you. I got Paul Robeson, um, uh, for y'all. Uh, singer, actor, black activist. One of the first, the original, the ones Harry Belafonte and all them guys ran after. They came after this guy. Um, he was born uh, April 9th, 1898 in Princeton, New Jersey. He died in Philadelphia January 23rd, 1976. So he lived a long life. Um, he it attended Rutgers University where he played football and was an all American. So he was a dog out there on the football field. He graduated was a, a Rutgers ahead of his class, but decided to go to law school at Columbia, right? After graduating Columbia, he, because back then they wasn't giving brothers lawyer, you know, letting brothers do law and practice law, he ended up going in the theater. And so he moved to London 
and he started with the province uh the province town players in 1922 with a new york group that um consisted of a well-known and legendary playwright in eugene o'neill um he appeared in eugene o'neill's all god chillings have wings um the emperor jones and he's most known for his pivotal rule role playing uh othello um the shakes the classic shakespearean play about an african-american man or african male um um he was backlash though the real reason why y'all haven't really heard of him is during the fall of the wall in, in the fight of the, uh, the Soviet Union, he was one of them people that kind of got caught up in that Red Scare era, where if you dealt with the Soviet Union, you were labeled a communist and they didn't mess with you. And he's a staunch, uh, a, a staunch supporter of, of communism. He felt mm -hmm. like when he went to the Soviet Union, what he, the racism and the... Um, the behavior that he experienced in America was not present in the Soviet Union, and he messed with them. He loved, he, he loved there. He was a big supporter of that. And then a fun fact about him is uh, he turned down he turned down a, a chance to go play professional football to um, basically go practice law, and then decided not to do practice law. He became a singer. But he's one of the first people, not just black people, to ever be put on J. Edgar's list of blacklist by the FBI. So historical figure, look him up. It's so much more. I just I just condensed it. But check him out. Paul Robeson, probably one of the coldest dudes you ever heard. Last of March. My bad. I think I did. Um, um, what was the last thing you said? Yeah, you was back there. Uh, I said no. He was that. He was that guy. Uh, he just was a phenomenal dude. One of my favorite dudes in history, just because one, he a slept on. You know, he a sleeper, and plus, he bucked the system back when they was killing brothers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He went at America, not just not just one person or you. He went at America and to the point where he basically. Um, Say fuck America, and, 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 and be, because of his civil, his civil, uh, 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 being a civil activist and everything, wasn't that one of the reasons why he was blackballed? Absolutely. You know? Well, the real one of the reasons why he blackballed, but the biggest reason why he was blackballed because due to Jagger Hoover and like I said, that red scare, and it was during the time of the war and, and the Soviet Union thing, and he had gone great ties with Stalinism and all of that. So he was he was tied in over there. And Hoover didn't like that. Partly, of course, because he was an African-American male, but a big part how he was able to really fandangle it is because how he was able to get him out of here, right, mm -hmm. was because of the, the communism. Uh, then he had something to do with Russia too, right? Like when he... Yeah, com that's communism. That's Soviet Union. So before uh -huh. Russia was... The power, as we know, is Russia. They was the Soviet Union, and they ran everything. That was who, you know, was our biggest. I mean, our yeah, our biggest threat yeah. since forever. Yeah, yeah. He was over there and even learned Russian, like the language. You yeah, know, he was. He was. That's crazy. He was tied in. I think. Yeah, I think he had moved his family there. There, mm -hmm. or uh, either or either his son moved that moved after he passed away. Moved there to Russia. If is that is that right? What ain't that? What I, I think I read that. I don't know. I didn't see. I didn't get that one. See, you probably read so That's a fun fact. See? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do know that he died in Philadelphia, and I do know that every year or this year for sure that they're opening up the house for a week and paying tribute to Paul Robeson. Actually. Oh, that's dope. Um, Where is that? Yeah, at? So he, he at his at, in Philadelphia at the home he passed in. Oh, okay. So that's dope as well. Cool. Uh, Marlon said, "Tell him how a lot of our black leaders." Went to Russia and found re refugees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Especially during the Red Scare. Yeah. You know. So it's 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 amazing how how we how we are digging back, man, and finding out. Like we only know of people that they want us to know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And when it comes, especially when it comes to teaching in schools and stuff like that or whatever, you know, 
but uh, men like this one and and that did so much beforehand, you know, they'll have a lot of people in the 60s and in the 70s you would think would be the first hero of this or a hero of that. Or yeah, that. Way and, it go, and we go way back. We go way mm -hmm. back, you know. And I got some more. Go ahead. What you I got some more. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm pull. I'm gonna pull something out. I'm gonna pull a trick out the bag too one of these times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I, yes, I, I love this segment. I love the segment. Just learning about, especially I, I and I even played Othello in, in uh, college. I played Othello. I know you yeah. told me, and I was like, you definitely. Yeah, should know, know, I, I remember the name, but I just never knew the history. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember the name, yeah. but I never knew the history or whatever. You know, because uh, when I was taught, like I said, they only teach us so much. Uh, um. Who played Othello in the in the last movies? Um, the Black Othello. Um, Mackay Pfeiffer did it. In no, when he did. Oh, that's a no, no. I'm talking about older. It was either it wasn't Billy D. It was um, it wasn't Harry. Was it Harry Bell Belafonte? No. It may have been Paul Robeson. No, 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 no. It wasn't him. It was after it was after Paul him. Robeson. Yeah, and that was the last person that I've known that had played that was a black man that had played it. Cause they made us think that that's the one, you know, he was the one, the first one to play Othello or whatever, but that's why it's good to do your history work. You know what I'm saying? It's good to do your do work, work man. do your work. That's what's up. You don't know. You don't know where you're going. You don't know who you are. <laughs> Is it? I mean, you don't know where you're going until you know where you came from. Exactly. The bar. That part, that part. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, so, uh, yes, sir. huh? Yeah. yeah. Did you ahead. have some more on it? You have some more or are you good? Oh, I'm good. Okay. Uh, well, let's get into this next one. We, we're moving right along today. Um, are you protecting your finances? Mm. Which is that's that's <laughs> uh oh, let me put that back up there. <laughs> Go put that on back up there. You know, <clears throat> I can I can I can I can be one to say no. I at least no, mm -hmm. I have I wasn't, I am a little bit now, but for a long, long time. I just got what I wanted when I wanted it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and most people do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just got, well, especially if you, if, if you were we from, I mean, I'm from, you know, uh, even though my mother, my grandmother lived in the suburb, we were still, you know, poor, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And uh -huh. so I never, when I didn't, when I was younger and I seen guys or girls in our, in our high school, whatever they had, you know, uh, better clothes, you know, wearing jewelry or gold or stuff like that or whatever, you know, which made them more popular and all that type of stuff. So as soon as I was able to work and capable of doing it, I got it. Mm -hmm. Never thinking, man, I need to think about my finances for the future. You know, never thinking that, you know, I need to invest in something, you know, and that's when we were younger, we this it's just those things were not brought up to us, you know. So to 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 like you said, protect our, our, our finances, you know what I mean? And when you say protecting, we talked about either investing, uh 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 having a nest egg, you know, saving, you know, uh and then you know, uh uh uh, uh building on it, you know, that type of thing, whatever. So uh I think this is a good topic. I think this is this is this is good to, to actually talk about. Um, and if you guys have any, um, what I want to say, if you guys have any, uh, 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 examples or ideals as to what to do to protect your finances, hit us up in the comments. Go ahead, dog. Okay. Awesome, man. You said a lot of key things. I think that, um, the biggest issue of the, um, I don't want to say poor, the underprivileged. Right. Um, is that we've been taught that to be privileged and to be someone or to be notified or seen as someone, you have to show wealth. Well, I, I, I came up with this topic because I wanted to, I wanted to debunk that attitude. Right. I think that. What we don't understand is the real, real wealthy people. I'm not talking about the people you see flashing Mercedes and the real, real wealthy people who write the checks don't spend their checks. Right. It's just, it's just the reality of it. They're budgeting. Everything that they do is expensed for. And so it goes back to what we were talking about with Trump. 
they can get him on a tax evasion, but they can't, right? Because he's paying his taxes every year, but he's writing everything off, right? Everything's on the business. He got it even so deep to where he turned the the golf course into a funeral, into a graveyard, and now it can't be sold, right? Taken because it's a, a part of trust, but not also it's a cemetery yeah. now. Understanding these ways and different tax advantages that you can use to prepare and and, and hold and hoard wealth. Oh, yeah. I think that. I think you hit the nail on the head again is the want for those wanting for things is our downfall mm -hmm. because we're not understanding that if I hold off buying on Jordans or these things for just a year, I'll be able to buy Jordans for the next three years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or 10 years. Right. Because what I've done is I, one, I've developed a budget Two, I've started saving three. I'm investing now. Boom, four, the money that I'm saving, I'm putting some two additional streams of income to establish and make my money work for me. But the key to doing that and the key to protecting your finances is when you work for them, not giving them right away, paying for the necessities and then rewarding yourself maybe once or twice a month with the extras. But you have to make sure you have extras. It's crazy. Like, I started budgeting uh, in the beginning of this month. In those first few weeks, I was left with like 25 bucks, uh -huh. 25, 24 bucks. This next check, nothing. But the next check, I'm going to have an extra $200, $300. Mm -hmm. But if I would have been spot paying and here and here, I would have assumed that I had that $300 weeks ago. And in the same process, I'm paying myself and I'm also saving. And I'm also handling all my bills. Of course, I don't have no extra change to buy nothing. Mm -hmm. I need any new things. But everything that's a need is taken care of. The accessories and the things that I want, I can get those later. Mm -hmm. I think the key to protecting your finances is understanding those things that you want, working towards them, but understanding that they can wait until the things that you need are properly taken care of. Mm -hmm. How would you how would you say, OK, say, for instance. Is there a way. To. Protect your finances when. Say, like how how the economy just keeps getting higher and higher, yeah. <clears throat> especially here for California, you know, so say, like, if you're if you if you was paying, say, for instance, for I think the lowest here in California for rent. Three years ago, just three years ago, was like sixteen hundred for one bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you pay your sixteen hundred, and you put up maybe you know a thousand, fifteen hundred for that month, right? Mm -hmm. And time goes on and goes on and goes on or whatever, and then your rent is five hundred dollars more. Mm -hmm. So now you might have to dip into that money that you were saving from that 1600 or whatever which is going to take take from your finances or whatever because you're not because because you didn't get a, a a raise or you didn't get you know what i'm saying uh more money you basically stagged in the same but this is the key right this is the key to growing your investments and i got a book i got like two three books for y'all i'm gonna give y'all before we leave this segment um the key to your point is basically They've saved, you said three years ago, they've saved $1,000 extra a month for three years. Mm -hmm. That's three years. So in that first year, but one of the, the third thing that I said is invest in your savings and making it work for you. So in the first year, if they would have took 10 to 15% of that 12,000 that they saved and put it to work for them, that was one stream of income that they've created already. So right. it'll still be, so no matter, it'll still be no coming. Matter, exactly. So no matter how much society goes up, you just budget it into. But what we're doing is, because I have this bag, I sit on the money. I was just telling Marlon about CDs and putting $10,000 in and compound interest. That shit ain't no joke. And then yeah. he was showing me that it's some, some comp is pays you monthly. So I'm making $200 extra monthly plus off the money I'm making. 
You get what I'm saying? So it's different ways to understand money. But to answer your question, I think that you can sustain one. Once you realize rent is going up, I think by the time your third year, you should have probably purchased your first multifamily. Because once again, on that second year or that third year, right, you, you probably, okay. you've made and, and saved maybe $36,000 at least. Right, right. $38,000 right there. Yeah. You've saved. Even if you haven't invested, but don't put the money to work. You start put that that first. You put that first initial investment. Now you're not only saving the money from that, but you're saving the money from the extra cash flow that's coming in. Right. So right, now right. it ain't just thirty thousand. It ain't. It, it, it won't be just thirty thousand at the end. Right. It'll be right. more like sixty or seventy. Right. It'll, it'll keep going up. Exactly. Yeah. And like it'll that's... keep going up, and and you won't need to worry and focus on a raise at your job. Or the, because you've already created sustainable income that's going to carry over your cash flow yeah. if you lose your job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's the key to understanding and protecting your finances and understanding that I can I can always supplement my income by taking less. Right. By making sure that, that you made a great point. Think about that, man. That's thirty six thousand in three years. Right. You know what you can do with that? Matter of fact, you don't even have to rent no more. You got a down payment on a home. True. And now you pay that twenty five hundred to yourself. True, true, true. Or you get what I'm saying. Or just so, be as smart as buy buy a duplex or something and let someone buy a no, multi family exactly. and have them pay for you. And now you got a general you generating income. They paying your mortgage. You going to work happy. Exactly. Because you don't need that damn job. Right. But you using that job to maintain your income and maintain. Make sure your budget is straight. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're covering your bills. I learned this. I added an extra job so I can supplement my income. Two streams of income coming in. Now I can start to prepare my content with a little more confidence. Right. Now I can start to invest in little things. Right. I'm also doing things for the business. So we got a bunch of things going together. And in the same time, every time I make money, I'm putting money up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I read a great book. And it's the first book I want to tell you guys about. It's called The Richest Man in Babylon. And the richest, the richest, the richest man in Babylon. In Babylon. Okay. The richest man in Babylon. Put it in the, 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 the comments. All right. Um, the richest man in Babylon. And it basically talks about is it goes back into the time of the time of Babylon. And it talks about a man named Archanon or Archiman or something like that. And it talks about how he was the master of, of wealth and riches and how he did it. And one of the key things that he talks about is a tenth of yours, a tenth of what you earn is yours to keep. Mm -hmm. A tenth of what you earn is yours to keep. 10% of everything you earn, you should save. At least 10%. No less than 10%. If you want to do 20, do 20. But a tenth. So if you make $700 that week, you save 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. So you think about that. If I make $700 a week, I can just do it in my phone. If I make $700 a week and I save $70 times 52, I save $3,640. Mm -hmm. That's just saving $70. Some of you people are making way more than $700 a week. Think about what you could be saving. But what we do is that's, oh, I got extra money. I can go eat out. I can go. But what if we put those off to one uh, one day a week? Like, so I told my girl I'm on a budget now. So when I took her to skating, one of the best dates of her life, very 40, $43 I came out with. Right. But a great date. We ate at home just teaching her that we could still have fun on a budget. Because what we, what we have to learn to do is shrink our expenses so our future could be brighter. And so it talks about, you know, a tenth of yours is the key. And then it says, out of that 10% you save, then you use that 10% to establish wealth and create your own streams of income. But the key to it is having a job or, or some type of stream of income coming up, coming in so you can take care of your offenses. But it break it down, tell you how to pay your credit. The richest man in Babylon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I had to look at it. I had to look at it, but I'm making sure. Yeah. yeah. One of the best books I think I ever wrote is recommended by Warren Buffett. It's recommended by Warren Buffett. And think of that. 
So think if Warren Buffett is keeping ten percent of everything he earns and then reinvesting it. Right. That's why he's so damn rich. Mm-hmm. Think, just think of that. Think of because after a while you get good at. It. Think he's been doing this 50, 60 years. Think about what that money looked like. Right. Think about at first. I was only I, just what you were saying. I was only making thirty. I was only making that extra twelve thousand dollars a year <laughs> saving because I had one stream of income. But by the third year, I've created two or three streams of income. So now that extra twelve thousand ain't twelve thousand no more. It's probably an extra twenty thousand, thirty thousand mm-hmm. because I got different streams of income and I'm saving that. Mm-hmm. And each time I'm in reinvesting that, that shit looks crazy when you start to really think about yeah. that. Because that's twenty five thousand or that that thirty thousand turned into a million real fast. I, I, th- I think I think one of the things is with 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 us is having that that discipline and that patience mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to be able to you know uh like now you know I, i've i've gotten in the point in my life where material shit don't mean nothing it don't mean shit. you know like i, I can let it go with, within a sec you know w- w- without a blink you know and um uh, and focus on what i really really want you know, mm-hmm. uh, especially for my family, my kids, you know what I'm saying? When I leave here and that type of thing, all those stuff starts coming in, in mind. But you also have a lot of younger people now being in social media the way it is, you know, learning quicker. Yeah. You know, uh, and that's and, and, and I hate to say that's scaring white people when it comes yeah, to us. For sure. That's fine, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and that's why that's why you see them try to keep all this controversy, all this other stuff in the forefront, than just teaching. You know what I'm saying? Or 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 talking about what's being taught, or what's you know what I'm saying? It's the, it, you don't see you ain't gonna see nothing in the news about teaching nobody shit. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. they need a distraction. Mm-hmm. We can't let them know everything. You know, let let this happen so that so that'll take care of of this side this type of people or that type of people or whatever the case would be it's just you know it's a distraction so i i Mm -hmm. think one of the things is as to uh to me as to protecting your your finances is to have being patient you know having patience yeah patience you know what i'm saying and and understanding there's all the small things that you need even the richest people get the smallest things for themselves Yes, they do. You know, yes, they do. the richest people ain't driving a, a Bentley or what's the name? The richest people driving uh, 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 Toyota Priuses and shit like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And that's smart. And you know what I mean? And we have to become more just just as smart, you know? And Absolutely. and I think the thing with us, so not only are, once we do it and we're smart, we also so creative with what we do. We make it so much to the point where they're trying to follow and do what we do. You know, absolutely that type of thing. Like we ever, always ask we, under, we underestimate our power and our, our intelligence. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Our self. and our intelligence and and our willpower yeah. too. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I asked somebody the other day, I or the guy I work with, isn't it odd that the man who one of the richest men in the world pays himself eighty thousand dollars a year? Only eighty thousand dollars, and we're talking about Jeff Bezos. Yes. Yeah. He pays this. He lives off a eighty thousand dollar a year salary, and he has a trillion dollar company. Yeah. Y'all, most people have make eighty thousand dollars and have eighty thousand dollars and live like they're a trillion. Yeah, <laughs> do you feel what I'm saying? Like, that happens, right? You know what yeah. I mean? Way right backwards. And so when you when you put that into perspective, really think about yourself and who you are. Like, if he can budget. Yo broke ass can budget, bro, because he's a trillionaire. But the reason why he's a trillionaire, because every time he get a bag, once again, a tenth of his is to keep. And what does he do? He reinvested it into his company. Exactly. That's why he rich. Exactly. Exactly. That's why he Jeff Bezos, because he just keeps, he pay himself a nice living, he keeps some money, and then he reinvests whatever the rest of the bag into the company. Exactly. The company grows. The notoriety of him grows, <laughs> and he keep living off that that eighty thousand with the stock options and all the perks that come with owning a company. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. And and he ain't taxed on the company's wealth. He only taxed on that eighty thousand. Exactly. 
Right. Come on now. Exactly. Come on now. Let's protect our assets. Yeah, out there. Let us know how you protect your finances. Let it's, let us know if you got any ideals for us too, as well. You know what I mean? Uh, might be something we ain't learned about. Something we didn't read in the book or whatever. You know what I mean? Y'all might got some more knowledge on that. So let us know. I got some knowledge on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, here we go. We got one comment real quick. Uh. Uh oh. I can get to it. You see it on your end? No. Yeah, uh, it was mom. Mom said, "Thank you guys for the love." Oh. You already know, it, moms. Right? For sure. For sure. Happy Aries, dude. We the shit. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> we are the shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, Aries is in the building. Huh? <laughs> Aries is in the building. Hey, uh, all right, man. But hey, let's get into the last because because I'll. Oh, the the second book I'm gonna give y'all before we go is Psychology of Money. Um, forget the author, Who's but look it up. Psychology of Money. You don't know. Psychology you don't know who the author is on it. I forget. Hold on. I can read <clears throat> it real quick. All right. Well, why are you doing that? We're gonna get into this last topic. We got a few more minutes here. Uh. The importance of finance transparency in a relationship. Financial transparency in a relationship. The importance of it. By Mor Morgan Housel. 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 By Morgan Housel. All right, I have to put it up. It's in called the, the Psychology of Money, Timeless Lessons on Wealth, Greed, and Happiness by Morgan Housel. All right, that's what's up. Yeah. Okay. Um, the importance of financial transparency in a relationship. What is the importance? What how how important is it? And I, I think we I probably all probably should know that answer, right? Mm -hmm. Um, how is how important is it to you? Um, I'm learning that I ain't doing as well as I thought I was when I came up with the topic, <laughs> but. Um, my therapist, you know, she whoops my ass when I go in there. Next time you're gonna um, need more light in your in your room, too. Oh, oh shit, hold on. I got light. I'm tripping. Mm -hmm. I, I just never cut it on. There you right. go. Yeah, right. man. Are we hour and a minute. You just now saying something? Because I, I um hey, I, I look bad. I look bad last week. It's your turn. <laughs> just, just visited. Um, I forgot about um I thought I was being more transparent, but I think it is extremely uh important. Because my therapist came with an analogy about like if your homie pulled up in a car, this is more about my dreams, but if your homie pulled up in a car and asked you to go just jump in a car and go with him, you won't ask questions. You why would you jump in a would you jump in a car with somebody and ride with them without knowing where you're going? Not really, when you really think about it. Absolutely not. Right. And so I think that the importance of financial transparency is so both of y'all remain on the same page. I think it's a strict, uh, important. My therapist said, I said, well, you know, I told her about two times a month. I two times, two times this month. She said, well, you did. Hold on, you told, on you told a, her what two times this month? About my budgeting. And, and she was saying that that's not enough, right? The communication in finances or in expenses is transparent. Hold on, hold on. But, but when you're talking about the transparent, you're talking about a relationship. So it's y'all budgeting, not just your budgeting. It's supposed to be right, 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 right. But, but as a, of course, we have our we have our own budget as a as personally as the household. Yeah. But then just my personal finances and what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? As an individual within a relationship, still also being more open about that as well. Is she a, right? Is she a part of that? Well, I ain't sharing as much as I should. That's what we right. talking about. Too. Right, right, yeah, right. You know, and I, I think that's 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 where we all get off because sometimes we we want we want to uh put money in the pot and have this side doing this and that when this side don't know it's like, it's like your, your left hand don't know what your right hand is doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And when your right when 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 the left hand finds out what the right hand is doing, it causes uh controversy in the relationship mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it causes it causes problem because it's kind of like in her and in, in that other person's mind she might think that you know 
okay, well, we don't have money for this. We don't have money for that. When you probably already know that we got money for it. You know, why is it that I can't know that we got money for it? So I don't have to stress about what, you know, what we do have and don't have, you know, and it's, and it's vice versa. You should know everything about, you know, y'all finances together. Y'all living together. You know what I'm saying? So you should know everything as, as opposed as she should know everything. What you're going to do, where you putting that money at, where is this going to go? What are you trying to grow out of this money? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And is it, is it feasible to use it towards that as opposed it might be feasible or better to use it towards this? That benefits both of you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if she don't understand, um, so if, if y'all don't have that understanding as to, you know, what each other is doing with each other, it's going to, it's going to cause a problem. Might not, not immediately, but at some point, but potentially, at, sure, some point, at some point, you know, because, because y'all supposed to be y'all a team, y'all a team. And a lot of people, a lot of couples break up because the other right hand don't know what the left hand is doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I so, so if she got a savings, if you know, and if, if she got a savings or she got something to the side where she don't want you to know about, that's not really good. That's not healthy. I don't think, you know, and if I have something or whatever and I'm not telling her about it or whatever, that's not good because eventually I'm going I'm to go off and use that money for something or whatever. And, and the first question she's going to ask is where did that shit come from? Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? Oh, why well, didn't know we had it? We, we we probably could have did something better to in her mind. It could be better, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or in her mind, she could have been like, "Well, damn, I could have been putting something in towards that too, so we could get it quicker." You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But if y'all yeah. never talked about it, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? What each other is yeah, capable of sure. doing. You know what I mean? But, for sure. So yeah, so so I I think uh. uh it's very important, you know what I'm saying? The transparency in the relationship should be uh 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 up front, up go out, you know, up front, discussed and uh 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 processed, you know what I'm saying, between within the relationship. My therapist says a weekly update. A weekly update, yeah. A weekly update on just what you're doing, what's going on with the finance, why you may be tight this month. Yeah. Just why you're doing period what you're doing. I took it a little deeper, just kind of an update not just financially, but emotionally, spiritually, yeah. just where you're at and kind of keeping that transparency. Yeah. I think that uh, what I learned today, I think that a lot of time, either we shameful That's what I was say. Or, we, or we're secretive. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's not easy. Or, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and to it, or, you know what I'm saying? So because we don't want to express and show the vulnerability that comes with being so transparent with your finances, you don't want to be seen as broke. You don't want to be seen as this. So it can be kind of it can be taxing and challenging for both parties to be that transparent and, and that vulnerability. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think like you just hit it on the nose. That's that's one of the hardest thing is to discussing that with uh, your significant other when you feel either embarrassed uh, or feel like it's not enough. You know, mm -hmm. and, and you know what I'm saying, but but the right woman supports you. The right mm -hmm. woman respect the fact that you came to her. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and said something. You know, yeah. Yeah. but you know, I, I I know me as growing up as a man, I I yeah, I I'd be embarrassed to say, you know, especially if I think my girl's making more than me. You know, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, oh, I got this, and I'm using this for this, and I'm using that for that. You know, and even though she's making more, she probably feel like, hey, you know. Why don't we use it for this? Something that's going to, you know, something for that or whatever that's benefiting both of us. But there are, or why not I put into this to help it grow quick, go quick, quicker. You know what I mean? You just never know if you don't have that conversation, if you don't really talk yeah. about it. But so Absolutely. when you're, when you're like you're doing now, if you're talking about it to her once or twice a week or whatever, then there's no denying later on, like, well, shit! I didn't know. I didn't know what you was doing. Well, no, once or twice a Come month, on. I gotta start yeah, doing once it once twice a week. Well, how, yeah, once or twice a month. You know, it, it, there's no denying the saying that. Oh, I didn't know what what you were doing. I didn't know what you got going going on. You know, and it, you know, you, but you also have to be repetitive. Well, you, uh huh. In 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 your transparency, you can't just say it one time, and that's why right. I, I say the weekly update. Yeah. Um, and that's what she kind of got me to understand today is just. 
I can say I think the repetitiveness will can avoid the future uh, or potential issues because I'm updating you every week, letting you know where the finances, why we're doing this, what we're doing this week. And, and, and so, you know, every step of the way, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. That way, when I tell you I don't have it, you know that I don't have it yeah. because I've already been discussing with you and I've been open with you. So um, yeah. I'm still trying to adjust to that mm-hmm. because I've been so secretive my whole life about just finance because you don't want nobody to know you got anything. Right, there. right. And so um, to, to avoid people from spending your little hard on money. You just kind of become yeah. secretive. But yeah, but then that's you know that's when you, that's when you get that. You gotta start to be that's when assumptions come in, though, too, though. You know, because yeah, because I you agree. know she could see you doing something, and she could just assume that you got money for this and that. And then if you say you don't because of the fact that you uh saving it for something else or using it towards something else for the future, then she's gonna be like, "Well, look, you have money, blah blah blah, for this. I, I, where, where is it going? Where'd it go?" Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. So so yeah. So to avoid a lot of uh, of unnecessary uh, uh, arguments or conversations or whatever is just to be open and transparent about what you have and what you don't have. Period. It's challenging though, y'all. It is. I ain't here no, no. Saying. Trust me. I learned. I, it I learned more today about it than I did than I had. I thought. I thought I had a better outlook on it than i did mm-hmm. but i didn't uh monster so, absolutely um, when so. you live together or married you must communicate uh what the household budget right uh right and you must communicate your goals for the end goal for the future i think that's what she meaning for the food for your future you know what i mean so it is it's kind of communicating what you just like if you're saving for uh a laundry mat you know you gotta let her know this is money right here. That's laundry lap. This, that's laundry mat money. You know, if you if you want to, add on to it. Same with her. You know, when she got money, want something. It's kind of like if you want, add on to it because y'all doing this together. You know, mm-hmm. it shouldn't be no mm-hmm. separateness or whatever. That's what's that's what's gonna leave y'all apart or whatever or, or take y'all apart. If that you know, because finance is the main thing that comes up in a relationship. Period. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and it's all about being comfortable with each other and knowing and, ha- and the security you know of the of the household you know uh mom said um uh oh shit who was it there you go oh, okay i got it let me read it she said well fuel sometimes you both should save money separate and together but open communication is key although i come from it's okay to have a little mad money for a rainy day that uh that is tucked away i agree a little yeah, bit. i do i, I mean I, I i do i do agree mom but to, to have something or what but still i should know about it you feel me did you freeze I, okay. uh, <laughs> you, yeah, you know what i'm saying oh, no, no it, it's good it's good to have something but i should know that you know that that my baby putting money away for for a rainy day or something like that i should just know that you know not to not to the point where knowing where I'm gonna take advantage of it or I wanna, you know, well, hell, you got this money that you put away. Well, won't we use that? No. You know what I mean? Because that's 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 basically what the, what you already told her what the money is for. Or you she already told you what the money is for, you know? So you just mm-hmm. you just leave it alone, but it's just having the comfort of knowing what it is, mm-hmm. as opposed to being surprised later, you know. Wouldn't you be wouldn't you be fucked up, pissed off if you've been struggling and your girl got a hundred thousand dollars stashed away and y'all together, or and mm-hmm. vice versa, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It, it, it sooner or later, uh... it sooner or later, that's going to cause some sort of turmoil yeah. in, the, in the conversation. In the, yeah. I don't I care agree. what y'all, what people say, well, it's my money, it's her money, it's blah, 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 whatever, that's fine. Yes, it is. But it still yeah. causes a, you know, a, it does. yeah. You know, because I didn't know about it. You know? That type of thing. That makes sense. You know what I mean? Good point. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, they, we had some pretty good topics here today, dog. Yeah, great feedback too. Huh? Great feedback too. I'm loving the feedback from all uh, Absolutely. the viewers. Yes, sir. 
So you guys continue, continue sharing this. Continue sharing this. We're going to preach on it every day. Share it. Send it to someone. Uh, yeah. Especially if it's if it's something that you know we might have said that you know you want to share with a friend and be like, hey, check out Fire the Broadcast. You know what I'm saying? Check out uh, reasons on on Fire the Broadcasting. These boys be telling their thing. You know what I'm saying? They keep yeah, it real. Doing their thing, man. You know what I'm saying? They, Come get some of this this season chicken. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying. Good game. Yeah, that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget. We still haven't got any uh 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 dear brother dear, dear sister, brothers, dear sister dear yet. Sister. We I'll have one for show next week. All right, all right. I'm gonna work on it too. I just didn't work on it this yeah, week as well. Week. So, but if you do, do have to go ahead and get a, the thing for dear brother, dear sister, you know how you do. Hey, so man, if y'all got any dear brother, dear sister, make sure you send it to fired up broadcasting at gmail.com. Make sure it's no longer than 30 seconds. It's right, 30 seconds, right? Oh, uh, yeah, no, 30 to a minute, 30 uh, seconds to a minute. Yeah, make sure it's 30 seconds to a minute, audio or video. Yeah. Could we play the video? Yes, yes. Audio or video. So audio or video. We prefer audio, but if you want to do a video, we like that too. And you title it Dear Brother, Dear Sister. And once again, you just send it to fired up broadcasting at gmail.com and we're gonna take care of you after that. You're gonna be able to hear it. Um one of the episodes. So we ain't gonna tell you right that that means you'll make sure your people's watch. Exactly. You understand? Exactly, and don't forget to subscribe. We didn't get them numbers up on subscribing and everything. You gotta subscribe, yeah. and we gotta get our view viewership up. So every week, y'all should y'all should y'all should share a show, share a show every yeah. weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quit quit keeping it to yourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah, stop stop, stop being all stingy and shit. <laughs> no, for real. We love y'all. We appreciate you guys yes, uh watching, and we'll see y'all next week, same bad time. Same, well, same, what is it? Same, what's the Batman? Same, what is it? I don't same know. bad you time, know like same Batman. bad place, something like that. <laughs> same bad time, same bad place. Yeah. Uh, and remember, thank y'all once again. And remember, if they talking about you behind your back, you behind your back, they behind, they behind you, for, you a reason. for a reason. Peace. Peace. Bye, 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 bye. All of illusions will get the parade. And all the reasons start to fade. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Reasons, the show where you can give your reasons why you think what you feel about what we're talking about today. We should know this, we man. Know this. <laughs> we say we no. <laughs> Dear brother, how do y'all deal with erectile dysfunction when you're in a relationship? I wouldn't know how to do it unless I had it. I had it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and remember, and remember, remember if they're talking about, about you behind, behind your back, back they're behind, behind you for a reason. reason. Hey.